Activity 11. Two sensors are better than one. Now that our robot can make a right turn when it sees red and a left turn when it sees green, let's program an interrupt switch. From the 4-H project that we set up earlier, click on the plus sign to make a new program. Double click on the program name to change it to interrupt. Close the content editor area to allow more room if necessary. You will also want to zoom out a bit because this will be a bigger program. Use the magnifying glass icons to control your zoom. First, go to the colors program that you made earlier. Click and drag over all of the blocks in that program except the start block. From the edit menu, select copy. Now go back to the interrupt program and paste the program in place. You will notice that the blocks are grayed out. Because we didn't copy the start block from the other program, these blocks aren't active. We're going to connect these blocks using a connector wire instead of just dragging them into place. When the connector wire is hooked up properly, you will see that the blocks are no longer grayed out. To add our interrupt, we need to add a block that will wait and monitor the touch sensor. From the flow control palette, drag a wait block over the other blocks. Be sure that this block isn't connected in any way to the other blocks. If it accidentally connects, just click Undo from the Edit menu. Change the Weight Type from Time to Touch Sensor. Select the Compare and State options from the dropdown. Go back to the Action Palette and drag a Move Steering Block after the Weight Block. Change the Motor Type to Off. Now drag up a Sound Block and place it after the Move Steering Block. Select the file Goodbye from the Communication folder in your LEGO Sound Files. Finally, we will add a stop program block from the advanced palette. You will notice that all of these blocks are still gray. We can make them active by using a connector from the start block. Click and drag the start block connector to the wait block connector. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Place the color cube in front of the sensor with the red showing and then try it with the green showing. In the middle of a run, push the touch sensor down. Please read the rest of the activity and then move on to activity 12.